All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, the, uh, well, welcome to Talk with Stephen. Uh, you are watching Talk with Stephen right now. This is a weekly talk show that has been hosted by me, myself. I'm Stephen Raj here. I'm the host for this uh, Talk with Stephen. Uh, the purpose of us doing the Talk with Stephen talk show is to uh, interview many individuals, many ordinary individuals who have achieved extraordinary things in their life. So, uh, you know, these, these ordinary individuals are just people who are uh, maybe your neighbors, maybe you know, or your friends, could be somebody, but they are just living a normal life, but you don't know who they are, the extraordinary things that they have done, the success that they have. So the purpose of this talk with Stephen is to find out these people and sh and tell you that particular story about um, how did they have come up in their life. So over the months, we have interviewed many, many successful individuals who have some uh, some of uh, such uh, inspiring stories and uh, sharings with us. Uh, I think we have uh, people like uh, so many people uh, who have come up with different, different topics and they have shared their experiences. And uh, personally, for me, all the speakers are amazing and everyone sharing is in my, well, in my Facebook. So if you guys are watching, you want to, if you feel like you are down a bit, you want some motivation, all kind of things, you can go and watch any of the recording. Any of the recording, it, that will bring up your emotions it will bring up your uh, you know your inspiration and everything so today at talk with steven session uh, i'm going to interview someone who personally inspired me a lot in my life because um prior to you know doing this talk show or be who i am today i was living in a very bad environment doing all kind of things and uh, later on when i got to know about our guest speaker today mr genghis Warren, who have turned his life uh, you know we have a very similar background but his background is very intense but uh you know he managed to uh, pull up his life uh, you know figure out what he loved which is playing chess and he built an empire after that because of that uh, we followed his passion and built a career and he actually shows a way shows a path to a people like me who are just clueless in their life that you know what you can also be successful in their life all you need to do is find out your passion and follow it. You make it that simple. And when I hear his story for the very first time, I got so inspired. So today, I'm very honored to interview Jen uh, with us today. So without any further ado, let's welcome our guest speaker, Jen. Hello, Jen. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, good afternoon, Jen. How are you? How are you doing today? Wow, good, great. <laughs> okay, then I I know you are really really busy with your classes, but thank you very much for spending a little time with us today to share your experience on why are you supporting the young. So we have already people saying hello, hi master. I think your students are also watching. They are saying hi master, and uh, thank you Azana for joining with us today. So if you are watching it in YouTube or if you're watching it in Facebook, wherever wherever you are watching. Please do share the segment to your friends in your wall in your Facebook so that it can reach out to many people. So, um, Jen, to start out the segment, I want to ask you this question. You know, you have a very you know, such an incredible story behind you on how you were last time and how who you are today. Maybe you can share a little bit about your life, like how what are the struggles that you face and how did you find out about chess master? You love to play chess and how the chess master started. I know it's a very long story. But you can summarize it and tell us in a very short form. Yeah, I, I try my maximum to summarize the things and then do the uh, I mean uh, the synopsis of the uh, my yeah, form. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, basically, I'm uh, like a, um, after SPM, I went to my career of job and then find out the job and then I do and also jump a few companies to be survived and then earn some salary, right? So I did. And what the was the first day salary, Jen? First day salary on, um, I was started with uh, um, 800 and uh, eventually went to 900 and okay. uh, go to 1,200. That's uh, those days salaries. Eh? Mm. So that was the beginning. And um, oh, yes, I was quickly jump, jump a few companies. And then finally, um, I was. Uh, the last company was uh, uh, one of the Japanese company. So there I was meet my mentor actually. There I was meet my mentor. And suppose my manager should attend the, uh, um, the two days program and the 10 months uh, follow up workshop. 
So he couldn't make it. He was sent me. So I was just went for food. That's always I share every uh, <laughs> yep. statement eh? for food. I just come back. And then the two days program, I didn't learn anything. I just learned about truthful, truthful things, and uh, which is I didn't practice. And then, I, then later on, until now, I was practicing that. So then uh, my mentor was um, um, guide me until now. Until now, he was guide me. So when we go and come, and then finally asking, what's your patient? Uh, uh, what do you do when you was uh, free time? And then I was telling. Well, I play badminton. I play football. I I just play, I just tell him tell him all the playing things actually. I play badminton, football, and then chess. Then the, suddenly was um, Ilungo and uh, Misko was uh, give me like a chance. Like why not you just started uh, chess, uh, teach kids how to play chess. At the time I'm still new for that, so I was go and learn learn also. Like um, I'm learning whatever I'm learning. I was giving to uh, kids, and then now. And uh, then that's the way, uh, like a chess master was uh, built. And then even uh, uh, from beginning until now, uh, we still got uh, some upgrading going on based on the knowledge and the environment, everything. Um, that's the way uh, uh, the chess master was built. Uh, this way. So, so, Jen, the, the, the way how you started chess master journey is when somebody come and ask you, like, what do you like to do in your free time? And then you just tell them what are the things that you will do. Yeah, I love to do. Yes, the 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 chess picked up, correct? Yep, yep. <laughs> it's not only just like like that. Pick pick it up actually. After say that's uh, we are lay, basically we are human. We got this character laziness. We should we have we having that. So what we do, and then also about the the pattern, the old pattern, own return back to some new ideas, own return back. So. I, I think my mentor was no well about me. Then he was started not only tell to me, he was putting me things. Okay, this your chess set, go and start. That's all. Until now, I don't know who was sponsored that. So I just started because someone already giving like uh, things to do, right? Okay, I just started over there. And like me, the person need to be someone to be guide. Mm, I I, th I think that is really true. Uh, we don't do stuff alone you know we need somebody to push us or you know not need to push us like just be there we know somebody is watching us that Correct. makes a lot of difference we will take the action and move towards it uh, so our audience who are watching today i have a question for you you know jen's life has started in chess because somebody asked his own question what do you do in your free time i want to throw that question to our audience today what you will do in your free time just comment with us so i I don't know what I do in free time. I will just watch Netflix or <laughs> play some games in my phone or whatever it is. So uh, do do answer in our chat box. Let's see what you will do in your free time. So uh, Jen, coming back uh, for your from for top, you know, uh, now you are teaching chess for the kids, for the younger generation. And yes. So um, you know, chess is always the mind game. Where you need to think a lot and you need to you know learn all these things. And I had the opportunity to even come and learn from you and also teach some kids how to play chess and everything i realized the way that you teach the younger generation the younger generation the chess is very different you also um you know integrate the life lessons when you teach the youngsters how to play chess well, why is that Jack? like how did you do this essence of life is very important for the kids now because they are generation which is going to be lead future so rather than just teach about the games, I think uh, essence of life is very, very important to be um, to for your future to be lead. And then um, about the discipline, everything will be ordered there, actually. So essence of life is very, very important. So we integrate the essence of life when we are teaching the kids during chess game, like uh, how, um, who they are, what should they need to do, and how the for example in a, even got a chess like uh, there is a promotion but they uh, the kids are unrealized they already promoted the parents the pair they are the one promoted the parents in a chess game there's a promotion piece but but the the very big things they did in their life is uh, promoting everyone the kids come to this universal right universal right then only they was promoted father, mother, people surrounding, grandfather, uncle, everything. Yep. Very great things they did, but they didn't realize. 
So I'll be connecting this to the um, how is work, how uh, what are the chess of teaching for the essence of life. That that is a really nice theory that I never thought about in that way. Like the child board, then only you got promoted in your life. Yeah, so, yeah, they promoted bigger, bigger values, valuable person surrounding. Yeah, that that is that is something really. You know, when I think about it, I was really being mind blown. It's like, yeah, that is so true. So um, I, I like like how you teach chess. Like you know, you were telling you bring in the essence of life when you teach chess and that makes the kids a bit more discipline and everything. So uh, coming back for our topic today, uh, why do we need to support the younger generation, right, Jen? So I want to throw the question to you. Why do you decide to support the young generation? Because you could have just easily said, oh, I'm going to teach chess. I'm going to play, help you how to play chess. I'm going to teach you. That's all. Bye. Pay me the money. Bye. But you never did that. You go to extra mile to support them, to guide them, teach the essence of life, and also you are supporting other younger generation out there. So why did you start to support the young gen? Wow, this is an interesting question. But, uh, but it was a very simple answer. Why we need to guide the younger generation? Young need to be lead. The younger generation going to be lead this world. Even yeah. though it can be good, even though it can be bad whatever but this world belong to them actually whatever but this world belong to them they are going to be create do the creation either going to be destroyed anything <laughs> but when mm. just hope they can do the creation so generation is belong to them yeah so that that is how you you guided your guide you start to support them and everything yeah? but uh i have this another question that related to this which is you know, now you are saying the younger generation are the, you know, the, they are going to lead and everything. We know this for the longest time, but we also say that the younger generation don't have enough experience. They don't have the, uh, the you know, discipline and all sort of things. So ha do you have this kind of thoughts like, so from where these thoughts comes, like you need to support the younger generation? Yeah, as adults, basically, we, we understand our level. And I mean, think about uh, the, the youngsters need to be more disciplined, right? But when we go to their level, they are already is a discipline and they are already having their discipline. So sometimes the idea is more powerful. It's more powerful. We are not disagree. We are we are stopping. We are disagree. These are the things we are doing now. Actually, we need to listen carefully what they want to say. Actually, it, it work. It's logic. But we need to when we say don't when they give an idea, we, we don't say no. Let us work on the idea. It's maybe better than us actually. So that's why I say like a generation, they get better idea, they got more energy, they got more energy. <laughs> like uh, yeah. like uh, we we want to work. If let's say I I want to do more work, I think I'm 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 really surrender. I, I can't do that <laughs> because we're getting age. Not not meaning of getting we age. Eh? Like um, the energy of the age are different. When that when they when they are. 10, when they are 11, when they are 12, they got more energy to do other things, other stuff. Yep. Like uh, elder people, we just, we need to work on the smart work. We can't do, throw more energy and then with the smart work. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I like what you said just now about the discipline where, uh, you know, we are at this level and then we're looking at the kid and then we ask them to behave like what we are expecting them in yeah, terms yeah. of in it, everything. We have a question from our audience who asked something like, uh, how uh, do you make kids nowadays realize the importance of discipline and perseverance in their life? Like, how you can make them to realize about this importance of discipline by themselves? Jen? Okay, very simple. Kids are more disciplined. I, I just will be recommend uh, the parents or who they asking the patient actually. Put them in a circle, put them the vibration circle, which is a similar goals with the, with the kids. I think they will be grow. No, no need to be guide. They have a very talented idea. They have a very talented energy over there. Just put them the vibration or the, um, what say, so the, the group of people, which is going to help them actually. Mm -hmm. So talking, talking it will about be discipline over there. Don't, yeah. You need to much expect more discipline. They will be, they are the energy, they are the creator. They're going to do many things for this world. 
Mm. Because environment actually plays a huge responsibility in our life and it literally shapes us who we are right now and everything. Because I then I think Jen, you and me can obviously agree on this, like our environment used to be very bad last time. And yeah, uh, that's yeah, so that's how we grew. But when we got to know an alternative environment who are like minded people, like minded uh, people who are working towards their goal, that's when we also started to work on our goals and everything. So, um, so talking about this, bringing in the, the youngsters uh, into an environment and everything. So, uh, Jen is also working very, very closely with this international youth movement called Ascendance, uh, where uh, Ascendance work with youngsters out there on how they can achieve holistic success in their life. So, uh, Ascendance is like a huge company right now in Malaysia. They came up with all the newspapers and everything. So, uh, Jen has been supporting them since the day Ascendance started until now. So, Jen, uh, how, why did you support, why are you supporting Ascendance right now? Wow. This place. <laughs> right. Ascendance. I will say thank you to Ascendance because they are creating future. I mean, the young create another young. They are create, they already young, and then somehow they created young talented, like uh, from seven years and above. And uh, I think they, they do beautiful job. I, I can say they do a tremendous job, actually like uh, not only um, focusing on the studies they created like uh, what is the patient or what is your what is your talent and work for the talent and uh, the future is belong to them they identify they identify where right? they identify and then work for them how to be implement the talent um for them grow actually so i think i, I respect uh, ascendance teams yeah, build young, young. Yeah, I think that that is something that we don't have when we are growing up, when we are young. There is nobody there to guide. And uh, that's why we are doing all kinds of other things and everything. But SNMs yeah. here, what they do is they work with the youngsters on uh, how they can study well. That's one thing because studies is important. But at the same time, what are the other things that the youngsters can do? Remember what Jen told in the beginning, like he said something like, somebody come and ask me what you will do in free time. And then he was telling a few things and that's how the things in chess started and then he built slowly from there and now he has a huge chess company right now. So that is what Ascendance is doing for the youngsters. They find out what the kids are naturally good at, naturally uh, like, and then they cultivate that talent and show them a way of how they can utilize this talent and build a career while they were still young. So I think, Jen, that is very uh, aligned to what you would like to do in Chess Master also, right? Yeah. Same thing, it's a level, level. Remember just now I mentioned about the adults. When the adults, the thinking will be adults' ma maturity, right? When these, these the people, this yeah, ascendance was young, right? So the, the joining, the newcomer, the, the surrounding also youngsters, right? So the level, the vibration will be attract them more actually. So that's why ascendance team is very, very, they are doing very, very imaging, I mean, uh, uh, impressive job actually. So uh, how how did you support Ascendance? Then you 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 were supporting Ascendance since the day one, like first you were helping them to share stuff, going out there with them. Even though you are super duper busy with your work, I remember when Ascendance need help, you will put down all your work that you are doing. You are coming there, and together with your team, you will come to the place and make it the thing possible and everything. Like what? Why? How do you support Ascendance? So in terms of us, uh, uh, we are supporting ascendance like, uh, okay, connecting generation. We are connecting generation to the ascendance, like uh, uh, some school teacher, we tell them or oh, essence doing the, the things, program, whatever. So you just, um, you just, the student take part in the ascendance program. I think we, we they, the school itself can see the changes. They can see the, um, the, at, the vibration will be changed. Okay. So we connecting back like our student, not only our student, overall in Malaysia, whoever was connected, so we'll be tell them that's a nice program going on to, I mean, uh, done by Ascendance. Why not just take part? Okay. These are the things. And then some will be like uh, some parents or some parents will contact me like, uh, oh, my kids was doing these, these things. I, I want, they need to focus more goals 
origin center. So I say, oh, why not just SNS was there? They already, ex they already established uh, since um, a very long, um, time ago. long time ago. So just why not just uh, give a try with them? Then they can guide the children's future. Okay, so it, it is a, it, the way of we are just give back some contact to them to be uh, collaborate and work. I think we have one audience saying SNS changed students a lot. Yes, that is uh, so true, I will say. So uh, that, that is a new thing that is SNS is doing, which is uh, something that Jen is currently working on. Uh, you know, Jen doesn't have to do that. But one thing he does is he just shared around with his, all his contacts. If you don't know, Jen teaches for schools in most of the schools in Klang Valley. So he has been contacting uh, the Pangatuas directly and asking them to take part in the SNS event. Uh, the reason one being uh, the reason one that is coming is called New Age Dunno Virtual Conference, where the SNS is inviting uh, around 20 speakers from eight different countries to share their experience on how did they have studied well in their life at the same time, um, you know, build their career when while they were still young. So, we have a short video to show that, then maybe Jen can talk a little bit about what is that event and everything. So, let's watch the video. multiple award-winning young Gen Z change makers and social entrepreneurs. This conference aims to inspire 50,000 students to instill leadership, confidence, as well as develop holistically successful youngsters in their happiness, health, education, and passion who are ready to build the future and take the world by storm. Go join New Age Journal with conference. Sign up! Upcoming New Age Learner Virtual Conference. Sign up for upcoming New Age Virtual Conference. Sign up for this upcoming New Age Learner Virtual Conference in September 2021. Yeah. As you can watch in that video, the video is made by youngsters. There are many, many youngsters that are students are working with and everything. So uh, that's how. Uh, we, uh, you know, working with the youngsters, giving them the opportunities, the real opportunities to uh, do something in their life. There are many youngsters watching our segment today. If you're working with SNS, you can comment what you are working on. Let's have a look at it. So, Jen, uh, you, you all, I remember you always talk about the energy returned back to the source, which is something that very fascinating. And now you are supporting SNS. I know you are supporting SNS without expecting anything in return. You just want to support the younger generation and everything. But how does it benefits your business? Okay, um, it's also like uh, we put it on a simple way: like what goes around comes around. You do good things, the good things will be come back to you. You do bad things also will be come back to you. Same. So now, which circle you want to be take over, whether good or bad? If let's say I'm helping like a uh, circling the, the messages what they given us. And then uh, we talk about the ascendance because they are doing good things, right? Like, mm. they are, and then in, in terms of this way, also some, we, we got some students while, oh, why, uh, um, they also come for the learning chess classes, these other things. In the, we help ascendance and help, ascendance was helping back us. We, we get ideas from ascendance. We use ideas to our teaching methods. So how to be like, uh, especially like essence of life, like we, we get it some idea from when we are meeting with ascendance, we are talking with ascendance. So that's the way we I mean ascendance help us actually. That's what goes around, comes around. Yeah, that's very nice. And if you guys would like to join the New Age Channel Virtual Conference for our audience, you can sign up at the link below. The link is coming right up uh, in the chat box. So we can click on it and sign up as an independent participants and then have fun in the conference. 
Jen is one of the partner in the conference that is working very closely with Ascendants and all. So that is uh, something that I really appreciate Jen and Chessmaster for doing that. And Jen, I have this one interesting question that I always wanted to ask you. Um, you developed this company from scratch, Chessmaster Jenny, and then you developed it into a Sandrian product. And then, uh, and then you developed it even more bigger. And in 2019, you passed down the CEO position to a younger boy who is 23 years old at the point of time, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 20, 24, 20, 23, 24. You will pass it down to that boy, and he is leading Chess Master Jenny right now and everything. Do you yes. ever have the thought something like, oh my God, you know, usually how people do business is, I will do the business, I will do the business until I get really, really old. After that, I might ask my son or my daughter to take over the company, then they will do it. But this, you, what you did was really out of the norm. Like you developed the company, then you pass it out to somebody in your team and he is leading the company. So, do you, do you have, have a thought, have, have the thought like something like, oh my God, it's my company, why am I doing this? So, can share a little bit about that. Steven, uh, if you want to tell the truth, actually, yes, all the human being, when you create something, it's every time we think about that's belong to me. That's belong to me. That's why when we say it's my son, my daughter, it's it's a my is belong to me. All is belong yeah. to me. Yeah. Okay. So in this uh, terms, when my mentor was uh, guide me, he said nothing is belong to you. So if you want to think the things going further future, give the things to be young to be lead. I mean, we need to give someone we got someone got energy. Someone can think better than you someone with more energy to be moving around, pass to them. Don't worry about, yes, of course, they will be do mistake. They'll be failed somewhere here, here, there, and key. Don't worry about that. Once they already like do all the, the, the minus things, they will be get a better idea. And then they will be build more bright future of the companies. So I think young should lead not only not only like I'm talking about my company, young should lead this world actually. That that, that is that is really nice because mm -hmm. uh, you know the, they they have the like what you say they have the energy they have the things to lead the, the, the next generation because if you are uh, keep doing what you're doing right now like keep teaching and teaching teaching you also One cannot become what sorry. One day we become what actually even though we we love the things. You just keep doing that thing, we become bored actually. But when you give uh, someone to be lead and then you get the new ideas, that time you'll be getting more new ideas. Let let them do. You, you can create other things. You can do other things. You can be like advisor. You can be like just tell some good point. They will be understand actually. I, I, I like what you say, just like, you know, you, you love, you are doing what you love to do, but at one point of time, you your heart will say it's enough because you have when you are group and we are growing up you have different things that we want to do our heart always want to do so in order for you to do that you need to pass it down the whatever that you that you have right now to somebody else so that they can manage it and you go and go out there and do something different yes. i think jen i'm i'm really really waiting for what you're going to come up with next because you always come up with some crazy ideas that impacts the people can you give us any short maybe uh what is that? Anything that you want to tell us about what you might do next after after this? Yeah, um, I'm just I'm also thinking about my new idea because I once I let it go, then new ideas will become definitely. But I'm waiting for the timing. Uh, it may be something crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I still don't know, but uh, it will be some yeah. betterment for the youngsters. Because you do, you don't have any new ideas because you are still doing whatever that you are doing, a few months ago, a few years ago. Correct, so correct. because you are doing that for some time, that's why you don't have any new or fresh ideas to develop your business. So when you when you uh, you know whatever that you are doing, let it go. Else, and we let it go. Then only the ideas for you to develop it to the next level will come, correct. which is something amazing. Nobody have told this to me here uh, before, so I'm really mind blown right now. So, uh, for our audience who are watching today, um, 
do join the new extended virtual conference this this conference is actually supported by the Kementerian political malaysia and it's actually free for the students to join in why it's free because many uh, corporate smes and young and individuals like jen their companies they have come out there and sponsored this conference so that the students can attend this conference for free so that is why it's free i have already sent the link in the chat box if you don't have means you can always contact me pm me in my page or chess master page and we will give you the link for you to sign up for the new age learner virtual conference don't miss this chance this is your opportunity to mingle with the uh, uh, young change makers from different different countries just like what john Jen told just now you need to be in the vibration in the same environment with the people who have done successful things then only you can learn from them and develop it to the next level so i really like that so hope you can join the conference jen do you want to say any last thing to wrap up wrap it up today's segment so we can end our segment today my last word is for the young generation this world belong to you just move <laughs> just move okay Yep. Uh, maybe your last words to the elder generation. What do you want to say to them, Jay? Uh, elder generation. Hmm. Is it? Talk about elder generation, right? Yeah. yeah. For them, uh, we give them chance. They will be do the better, better place in this world. That's very nice. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much for joining with us today, Jen. Uh, I really love how you are really supporting the young and uh, helping them to grow while you grow in your business in your life as well so uh thank you very much thank you for spending your time i know you have class right now so i don't mm -hmm. want to keep you for a longer time for our audience today thank you very much for joining with us today do share the segment so that your friends can watch it later do join the new channel virtual conference if you can it will going to blow your mind so uh i think that's all from me thank you for watching talk with steven so see you guys next week yeah thank you very much steven thank you thank very you. much Everyone, yeah.